Om Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Today we will uh, discuss the uh, presentation of mitral valve uh, stenosis. Sir, uh, my patient is uh, a young man lying in the bed and uh, he is uh, not in distress uh, at a 45 degree angle. There is a canola in the right hand and he is not dis in distress. On inspection, uh, there are visible cardiac pulsation in the apical area and the parasternal area. On palpation, there is a, a, a tapping apex beat and uh, it is not displaced. There is a parasternal heave and uh, there is also a uh, thrill in the parasternal area. On auscultation, the first heart sound is loud and uh, there is a mid-diastolic murmur in the mitral area, uh, which is best heard in expiration and in the left lateral position. Uh, there is also a pain systolic murmur in the uh, parasternal area and the left uh, lower uh, edge uh, of the sternum. Uh, there is also loud component to the second heart sound in the pulmonic area. Uh, there are no peripheral stigmata of endocarditis and uh, the pulse is 110 beats per minute and it is irregularly irregular. The blood pressure is 100 by 60. The JVP is raised and there is no cyanosis. Uh, there is uh, uh, fine crepitations uh, bilaterally in the basal area of the lungs and there is a pedal edema, bilateral pedal edema present. Uh, sir, so the, my diagnosis is a mitral stenosis uh, with a signs of, a, uh, uh, signs of pulmonary hypertension. So note that uh, always uh, tell uh, that there are uh, no uh, or there are the signs of uh, infective endocarditis and uh, also tell about uh, the, the signs of uh, pulmonary hypertension. Both are very important. Uh, to uh, tell to the examiner. Then the question will be how will you investigate a patient? Uh, sir, I will investigate a patient. I will do the ECG which will show the irregular uh, rhythm and uh, the P material will be there. Uh, sir, uh, chest x-ray will be done and chest x-ray will show the double cardiac shadow uh, due to the left atrial hypertrophy and uh, there will be permanent congestion and pulmonary veins will be permanent. The echocardiography will be uh, done which will tell me the size of the cardiac chamber. Also the severity of mitral stenosis uh, will be uh, tell, told and uh, the classification uh, will be also revealed. Uh, also it will uh, tell about uh, the pulmonary hypertension and uh, the uh, right atrial hypertrophy and left atrial hypertrophy. Uh, the cardiac catheterization and uh, coronary um, angiography will be done. Uh, to rule out uh, uh, to exclude the coronary uh, artery disease uh, for the associated with the mitral wall disease. Uh, how will you manage this patient? Uh, sir, I will do the uh, uh, general treatment and the specific treatment. If the patient is asymptomatic, then the um, periodic or a follow up a cardiography, uh, cardio follow up a cardiography will be done, echocardiography will be done and uh, to rule out any change in the mitral valve severity and also the prophylaxis of infection on the carditis will be done. Uh, the patient will be anticoagulated with warfarin. Uh, if the patient is uh, symptomatic then uh, the general treatment will include the diuretics, digoxin for the rate, rate and rhythm control and also anticoagulants such as warfarin uh, to prevent a clot formation. For the specific therapy, mitral valve stenosis uh, if it is not associated with mitral rigor, then the mitral valve will be plastic will be done. If it is associated with mitral rigor, then the valve replacement will be done, multidisciplinary approach will be done, and uh, cardiac surgeon, uh, along the cardiac surgeon, uh, the mitral valve replacement will be done. Thank you.